In today's video, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite plays in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. If you're brand new to my YouTube channel, I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day, and I post new videos on my channel every day at 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern times throughout the day. So four videos, four tips and tricks coming every single day. So if you want to get better, I'd highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. Now, for my text message members uh, this week, we're going to be breaking down a little bit about this West Coast offense. Actually, was in the lab today for about four hours kind of building this offense and just kind of going over everything that you can do um, from an offensive perspective out of the West Coast playbook. And to be quite honest with you, I think I overlooked how powerful this really is, especially as a quick pass style of offense. So I wanted to give you one little sample nugget. And if you want the rest of the scheme, um, or if you want the rest of the uh, scheme that we're going to give away in our text message membership, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My phone number is in the top left hand corner. It's also 812 812- 216-3644. It's also in the description if you want to pick it up. Um, every week we send out pro tips and strategies for how to get better at Madden 21. All right, so first things first, you're going to want two running backs here. And I got the Packers. I got Tyler Irvin and Aaron Jones. And then I'm going to put my fastest uh, secondary receiver in there. And then Robert Tunyon is going to go right here. And the play we're going to be going over is the play curls. Now, really quickly, I want to show you a couple of different things in the coaching adjustments that you will see a lot of people do. One of the things that you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of this coverage right here. You're going to have um, a lot of Mabel style coverage um, and a lot of like this defense right here. They're going to have five yard hook zones and we're going to be labbing right now against the nickel 335 wide, which can be found in a variety of different playbooks. But one of the playbooks that it can be found in is the Miami Dolphins uh, defensive playbook. So anyways, I just want to show you this right here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to show you a couple of different formations, different styles um, of defense that people are going to use to try to shut this down. OK, so the first style is basically a man aligned style, and this is not a great way to play this. You're going to see something like this right here, this default uh, style of defense where basically they're not base aligned. And what I want to do real quick is I just want to show you, and it's going to be kind of a challenge to show you in practice mode this, but basically if they're, if they're not base aligned, what you're going to notice is whenever you motion your receiver, they're oftentimes going to do this little movement right here. And I can easily quick hike and throw that quick pass to Marquez Valdez Scantling. One of the other things that you'll notice is let's say that they bait or they man align their defense. And oftentimes you'll see these little movements, these little flips right here. This is a critical, critical, critical point in this offense. If you see this little animation right here where they're going to kind of widen out, basically what you're going to do is it's a two-man read, but oftentimes you're going to be able to hit that route right to Marquez Valdez Scantling super, super fast um, in this play. I want to show you what I'm, what I'm basically seeing and what I'm basically doing. And real quick, I just want to kind of drop my linebackers in yellow zones and kind of show you why that doesn't always do a great job especially if they're five yard in yellow zones if i low ball this and get it out to the outside you're going to see that even the yellow zones aren't going to be able to stop it so what's a defense to do well what a lot of defenses are going to do is they're going to go to some type of zone coverage where they basically can have um effectively hard flats on the field where they can play those five yard underneath flat zones. So you're going to see here, same kind of thing. But this time, as you notice, once again, we're still able to get this ball out there. Now, right there, that was a little bit of a tight window, but I'll show you how we're still able to hit this um, depending on the width of the of the uh, motion. So one of the things you want to see here is as soon as he jumps to the outside, you want to snap basically right here so he's inside. And I'm just low balling this route over and over again. As you can see here, this is beating zone coverage even if they have a hard flat zone coverage. So now I'm going to show you one of the most popular defenses um, in the entire game, and that is the Mike Blitz uh, 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into basically a um, a box coverage, essentially, and we're going to use the middle of the field. So we have Mabel coverage on one side, we're only sending two people, and we got cover two on the other side. This is why you want to snap this right here, because once you see this right here, I'm just going to lowball this in the zones, and as you can see, it's an instant, um, it's an instant route against zone coverage. So you might be asking, well, what if they run man-to-man -man coverage on you? 
if they run man-to-man -man coverage on you, you're still going to have all of the tools in the toolbox. And what you'll notice that's going to happen is same kind of thing. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lowball this. And I know it doesn't look open, but the reality is it's open. And I can tell you from personal hand experience, I have thrown this ball as many ways as possible. And basically what I'm here to tell you is this route right here is absolutely a money route in this game. When you motion it over, um, you're going to see, you're going to get basically like a back shoulder throw. The cornerback's not really going to react to it if you lowball it. The key is to have gunslinger and the key is to lowball it. And I'm not quite sure if you absolutely have to have gunslinger. I just feel like gunslinger makes everything better on the offensive side of the ball. And again, you want to make sure that you are snapping it with him as the outside leverage. Now, let's say you might not want to do that. Um, maybe something that they're going to try to do is they're going to shade their coverage down and they're going to shade their coverage inside. So let me just show you kind of what happens based off the different shades. You see you snap here. And as you see, I'm still able to hit this route over and over and over again. Now, maybe you're watching this video and you're saying, you know what? I don't want to do that. I, I really don't want to risk throwing that. That doesn't look open to me. What else can I do, Cody? Well, enter this next little trick within this formation. What you're going to notice is whenever I motion this uh, receiver, let me just show you what happens to the defense. You see that we get this natural flip, right? Natural flipping of the alignment. Now, what you'll also notice is if I motion him back, you're going to see I'm going to get another flip. Okay. So what you can actually do with this is if you have, um, when you're in game, you can really, really take advantage of this. So you can motion him over here. And then what you can do is you can basically motion him back. And depending on the coverage, you'll be able to actually snap the ball right there. One of the little tricks that you can do is, and I'd have to be in game to do this to show you, but basically I could put him on a streak and while my guy is still making a hot route animation, I am going to basically be able to throw this ball. However, if you don't want to do all of that drama and all those different uh, tutorials and things, then just wait for him to basically curl back around. And as you'll see here, um, this is a simple low ball. And what I like to do, honestly, is I like to just throw this um i honestly like to just throw this with a little bit of an outside pass lead just get it out there and you really want to try to get this where only your receiver can catch this ball and what you'll notice is oftentimes even if they are shading coverage over top and maybe they're shading coverage outside and over top what you'll notice with the way the man coverage is going to play this is oftentimes your player is still going to have um that leverage as you can see right here so throwing the ball a little bit too quick right here um, if I just wait just a little bit longer you're gonna see that this is going to work really really well and the beauty of this is this is actually going to open up some different things for you if the defense decides to go with a defense like this and in theory we're saying that they're using this guy on the right here so right there that's what we're looking for right there now, let's say that you don't want to throw that. Let's say you, you don't really like that read. You want something else against man-to-man -man coverage. Well, I'm here to show you a couple of different things this formation can offer you against man-to-man -man coverage. And this is primarily a zone beater, but it does beat man-to-man. -man. You'll see that this tight end route does a really, really, really good job um, right at the snap of getting up and inside leverage against a lot of different coverages, especially the Mike Blitz O and several other coverages. Because what oftentimes is going to happen is that safety is going to switch and he's going to basically be in man coverage on the tight end and so what that's going to do is it's going to give you this little quick snap throw right there so you have two quick snap throws against the defense now you might be saying well what if the user the middle linebacker i don't really want to be throwing the ball at the middle linebacker i want to be throwing the ball to open open grass and open space well that's a great point so what i'm going to show you now is another quick pass within this play and that's this little two-man screen right here you see i can throw this ball to the fullback and what I'm doing on this left side is I'm simply putting the fullback, um, I'm simply putting the fullback on a wheel route. I'm putting the uh, tailback on a wheel route, and I'm putting the fullback on a swing route to the left side. And then I have a slant basically coming back across. So if everything breaks down, I still have my slant that I can hit. But oftentimes you're going to find that this route right here to Aaron Jones is going to be darn near impossible to stop. The way man coverage works in this game, most people are going to think that it's going to be able to be stopped by manning him up. I'm here to tell you that it's not going to work. What's going to happen is if they man this up, you're going to see that it's going to be a little bit of a delay man up, as you see right there. It's going to give you time to get this ball out. So one of the things that your job to do as the user is to say, okay, well, 
he's you know he's he's basically out there so what i've got to do a good job of is i've got to do a good job of user catching this and basically getting upfield instantly so right there get out get that block from your wheel route and as you can see you're going to be able to really really take advantage of man-to-man -man coverage the last read is kind of a late read but it's actually still a very very effective read and it's really for when they start doing things like hard flatting on both sides or basically just playing underneath coverage and that is your motion or your not your motion um, but your simple slant route they're going to take their user and i'm almost guaranteeing you that they're going to cover the tight end with their user that's going to leave your slant right open right in a crossing route and what's beautiful about the curl route is the curl route on the back side of this defense uh the route that we're basically saying is our quick snap throw is now going to serve as a very very nice little pull route within this play that's going to basically get this little slant wide open and you're going to oftentimes get a huge gain maybe even a touchdown against heavy heavy pressure defenses so guys, this is probably my favorite play right now in the game just because of how good of a job it does against pretty much anything that the defense wants to do. If they want to blitz me, I have answers. If they want to play coverage, I have answers. If they want to, you know, basically not double flat, I have answers. Um, this low ball right here, I'm telling you right now, if you practice this, go into practice mode and throw this against all sorts of different types of defenses and what you'll find is this is probably one of the best routes in the game to quick throw and the reason why is because of the placement and what it does when they do this right here and you see you're going to get out there and have a shot now if they don't you know obviously one of the things that you have to be aware of is you know if they jump out at the ball then what do you do what's your next step well your next step is to look to your tight end and oftentimes your tight end is going to be absolutely wide open but really want to kind of get the ball snapped right there and just kind of get it out there and as you can see if i get that ball out far enough that's going to be a consistent read against man against zone coverage now one of the things that they're going to do as a result is they're going to um, they're going to start doing something like this, right? And if they give you a look like this, now you can kind of do some things off of this, right? Basically, what you could do is you could essentially run the same concept um, to the other side. So I could take Vada Scantling and put him on a slant route and snap the ball right here. And now I've got so much leverage, it's, un it's impossible for them to be able to stop me with the leverage that they have on the field so this is one of my favorite plays in the game if you want to get the full scheme go ahead and shoot me a text message i'll be releasing the far tight slot this week in my text message membership and show you how to absolutely beat so many people um under center with some really 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 nice quick passes thank you so much for your support if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and do that and if you want to get my full um, New England Patriots offensive ebook. That link is in the description as well as is my 46 defensive ebook, which I believe are the best offenses and the best defenses to be able to run in Madden 21. I want to thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you have any questions, you can always text me. My cell phone number is 812-216-3644. Thanks, guys.